In this video, we'll learn how to find your purpose and passion. You may have all the prerequisites for happiness, including a job, a happy family, and a big house, but why is it that you don't feel fulfilled? If you constantly feel that something is missing, then the missing piece of the puzzle could be your purpose. At this stage, you need to sit down and reevaluate your life. Only by asking yourself and looking into yourself will you find the answers. No one knows you better than yourself. So it's you and only you who can find your purpose. Your job is to find this purpose and polish it well, because when you accomplish that, your life becomes so much more meaningful. One, find what excites you. Most of the time, your purpose is what excites you. If your current job doesn't excite you, it's definitely not your passion. Do you have to drag yourself out of bed every day? Are you constantly looking at the clock during work? All of us are born with a talent. We all have something inside us that makes us different and special. You just need to find this thing. Just a little warning, you won't be perfect at it the first time. You can't really expect to be perfect at something, even if it's your talent. You have to learn it, earn it. Even the best artists and musicians have to practice and learn. But then how do you know what your talent is? It's something that comes easy to you. It could be drawing. If a pencil and paper excites you, then drawing might just be your purpose. If it's always been easier for you to draw than write, then look that way. Maybe you could draw straight lines in perfect circles without any tools. And your notes had more doodles than writing on them. Clues like these tell you where your real passion lies, and you shouldn't hesitate to answer that call. Here's something. Have you ever had that feeling when you do something for the first time but feel like you already know how to do it? That's the feeling you need to look for. Steve Jobs had the best advice in this regard. He said that you have to trust in something in your life. It could be gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. He said that this approach can make a lot of difference in your life. Two, ask yourself why. Why is one of the most powerful questions ever asked. You need to ask yourself why you want to do a certain thing or why not. It's important to focus on the clarity of purpose. If you know the why behind the things you do, you will find your purpose easily. As an example, consider the whys associated with your job. Maybe you're doing this job because it earns you a fine living. Maybe you're in this career because your parents pressured you, or you could be doing something just because all your friends were. If these reasons justify your whys, then you're not doing what your purpose in life is. When you ask yourself why, the answer should be fulfillment. And that's when you know you're face-to-face -face with your purpose. You need to ask yourself, why do I want to draw? And if the voice from inside you tells you that it's going to get meaning and fulfillment, then you're on the right path. This path will take you to your purpose. If the voice inside you tells you you're doing something out of fear or to fit in, then you need to let go immediately, for that is not your purpose. Once you figure out the why, follow Nike's motto, just do it. Because the more you act, the more things become clearer. So instead of overthinking whether something will work or not, should you try it or what if you don't make money at it, start taking small steps towards your calling. On the way, there will always be people around you who will have discouraging words for you. They'll tell you your career path is unrealistic and useless. Or there are those who will forcefully make you believe that something else is your pursuit. You have to ignore all these voices and listen to yourself instead. Your true passion lies in only the things that you enjoy and love. Don't let others dictate this to you or allow anyone to tell you that your passion is useless. Since it's something that defines you as a person, you shouldn't care about others' opinions and expectations. Just remember that you're doing it for yourself because you owe it to yourself. Three, explore your options. Many people also get stuck because they try to find the one thing that they're meant to do. But in doing so, you may waste your time looking for the wrong thing. Actually find something and then realize it's not for you or just become disheartened when that something doesn't work out for you. But why limit yourself to this one mentality if you could do so much more? The idea that you have only one thing that's meant for you can limit you from fulfilling your potential. 
For instance, you may be a life coach who writes, travels, speaks, teaches, mentors, and designs at the same time. You may enjoy every aspect of this job being equally good at all of them. You may feel equally passionate about being in any of these roles, which makes the whole experience of being a life coach more meaningful. So stop thinking that there's only one singular purpose for you when you could be doing so much more with passion. So don't hesitate to jump in and try new things. Stop trying to resist the unknown, for maybe that's where your calling is hiding. Do follow your passions to make your life more purposeful. When you live a passionate life, it becomes your purpose as well. In fact, you only need to look for a purpose when passion is lacking from your life. This makes you feel disconnected from life. So to fix this void, simply add in more passion. If you need help with that, look at the people who inspire you, for they can help you find your passion. For instance, if an artist or a designer inspires you, their field could be your passion too. Do you find yourself spending all your time on social media pages of fashion bloggers or designers? Four, don't suppress your doubts. Suppressing your doubts is something that can stop you from finding your purpose. By definition, doubt is a feeling you get when you have to do something, but there's more than one course of action to choose from. You're not sure which option you should pick, so you give in to doubt. Although doubt always involves uncertainty about which decision will turn out best, it's not actually a bad thing to experience. If you let your doubts surface and come to terms with them, you're still making progress. But if you keep ignoring them, your life will become a mess. For example, do you have doubts about your current job? Do you feel like you could be much better at something else? Give this thought time. And find what you're better at. Even when you do think you have found a purpose and you have doubt, let that come to the surface too. Otherwise, you'll be stuck with a false purpose. In finding your purpose, you'll have doubts, fears, and ambiguities. Always remember the final point and joy you get once you're there. With this thought in mind, you will definitely discover your purpose. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.